Hi everyone, today on this little tutorial, we're gonna look over a few items as a new student to make sure you know how to log on, move through Canvas, check assignments and such. So when you log on to Canvas and you actually go to your course, this is the homepage that will show up. Some homepages will look a little different. Um, on one of my courses, I have announcements up top and a little welcome here. Some of your home courses will take you straight to the modules. If it does not take you straight to the modules like this one, you will just simply navigate to that as this modules button is where you're going to find your weekly assignments and everything that you have due for that week. So we're going to click on modules now. The modules are going to take you through week by week. I'm in a student view. That's why it looks purple like this. So you can see exactly what it's going to look like from your side. Each week is going to show you an introduction, if there's video lectures, if there's any slides, and then your assignments so that you can go through everything for the weeks um, or for that week. So one thing we're going to look at now is, you know, you know how to find your assignments. On your assignments here, there's going to be a rubric attached that's going to show our grading criteria. If it's something like a discussion or if it's something that is not multiple choice or graded by the computer. So to look at that, let's go ahead and go to a discussion. Let's go to week two discussion. This is how it's going to look. Your discussion prompt will be right here. And then if there's any added instructions or anything, the instructor will always include it in this box. To look at the rubric, you're going to go up here to these three dots. You're going to click it and show rubric. This is going to show the grading breakdown. That is what a rubric is. It tells you how you were graded for an assignment. So you can expand it, make it larger. So I'm on a zero to five scale. So if you get five out of five, that is a hundred. Four out of five, you just divide it, that's an 80 and so forth. So this tells you that the student will get full marks, five points if they've completed all these areas. And you can read through all the ones like this. Rubrics will not be the same from course to course or instructor to instructor, but there will always be one there if there's going to be some kind of writing or assessment involved. So you would look at this rubric and then you can type your reply here um, in any attachments that you need, anything like that for um, this kind of assignment, which is a discussion. So if we want to go back, we'll go back to modules. And that's pretty much how you're going to see all your assignments. Um, homework, usually homework for my courses are going to be in the back of the book. So they're usually not graded for accuracy. They're usually graded for completion. However, I do spot check them. Um, and that is just how I do mine. That could change. So always read the instructions. But that's why you don't see a rubric here anywhere. There's no three dots. You're not inserting anything. To submit it, you are going to uh, have a text entry box or a file upload. So for an assignment like this, where you have to upload something, you're going to press start assignment. And this is going to allow you to upload or to do a text entry where you type it in. So either one would be fine. And then you would press submit assignment. So once you've submitted your assignments for the week, um, the instructors have a good about five days to a week to grade those. To find those out, you can, oh, let's leave. We can go to grades. And this will be all of the grades for you as the student so far. So since we're doing this as a test student, you can see that a lot's missing. But let's say that um, this discussion had a grade here. We would click on it and you would see your submission. You would see your grade at top. You would see the rubric where you could see it again to see what areas you hit or maybe missed on. And then any comments from the instructor are going to be here as well. So that's how you would check your grade and also check your comments from an assignment. So make sure you're always going in and looking at that. I know sometimes even in my courses, um, a student might give 100 or a good grade, but I do leave comments as far as, you know, moving forward, make sure X, Y, and Z and so forth um, are met. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is announcements. I always suggest, well, two things. I always suggest that students look at announcements. I do have it on my home page as well. But the announcements, I use that area if I want to update you on something, um, something that I want you to keep in mind. If we're going to have a busy week, anything like that, I will usually put an announcement up. Not all courses have it pop up here on your home screen. So I would get in a good habit of going to the announcements tab and seeing any new announcements there. 
the reason these are in red is because they actually have not been clicked on or viewed in this student view. We'll go back. And so now that one's not red, so it alerts me to any of the new ones are in red. For the Learn Library, you are going to have assignments in some of your courses that's going to require you to go to this Learn Library, which is our online library, and it's a database for you to search through for any kind of um, educational or research, research type books, articles, um, publications, anything of that manner. So if an instructor is requiring you to use the Learn Library, you are going to have the button straight from your screen right here on every course. You will just click on it. You do not need a login name or anything. It takes you straight here. For any kind of searches that you are doing, you can search all databases or you can go very specific. Um, if, you know, obviously we're looking in health and medical most of the time. So if it's one of our core courses, maybe not a gen eds course, you can click on health and medical. It'll bring you to all the different publications here. You can click on each one individually. And these are just um, files that open up to a lot of articles and published um, or just publications in general. Or you can just search your topic. So MRI contrast. And this will search in all of those different publications for MRI contrast, which is a pretty vague topic. Um, and then all these articles and publications will come up for you to kind of sift through, read, and find whatever it is that you might be looking for. So that is going to be our Learn Library. Lastly, what I will hit on is um, going through here is your syllabus. Some instructors upload it under week one. I have mine under the syllabus tab, so make sure that you always download, download it and look at that. Um, and that's really it for right now, just making sure that you understand how to navigate through this entire system. Anything that you have do that is coming up, it'll usually pop up here in the to do area and so that you can see all these are due. It looks like they are, you know, past due or coming up because once again, this is just a test student account. You can also go to your inbox and you can email um, your instructor from the inbox. Since this isn't a real student account, it says denied, um, but usually you would have, it looks like an email and you would have the ability to um, send a message to your instructor from that area.